Hello, Taunt and Tigers. Welcome back to Tiger TV. We hope you are staying healthy and well. I am so glad to now be joined by our new co-anchor, Trevor Emma. Thanks for having me, Evan. I'm so humbled to be working alongside such a great host. Right back at you, Trevor. I'm looking forward to the rest of this year. We have an action-packed show for you today with a ton of information and entertainment. That's right. Here at Taunt High School, all departments are adjusting to the new hybrid learning model. Alice and Vicky caught up with the wellness department to see how they've been adjusting to these new teaching methods. Thank you, Evan. Taunt High is very well known for its variety in subjects, specifically its vocations and its core subjects. However, one department that always seems to get overlooked is the wellness department. Teachers have been adding more distance games to the curriculum in an effort to allow students to exercise safely. Since COVID, we've implemented a lot more racket sports uh, due to social distancing. We thought that uh, racket sports would allow for, for that and obviously uh, to keep them active and moving um, and socially distanced. And that includes badminton, pickleball, uh, when the weather was, was good, we were playing tennis. Uh, we've also uh, uh, have a 18-hole miniature golf course that we have set up here um, and, and that we've never done uh, since the COVID. So this is, that's obviously new. So we have that set up as an option for the kids to work on. Students should be learning about how best to exercise and stay healthy during these classes, which is particularly important while we're all staying online at the moment. Well, uh, like it's always been, we, we have uh, health aspects and physical education aspects. Um, we are also focusing on the mental health of our, of our students and their families, and uh, we are trying to find ways to, to safely teach all of those. Obviously, this year has been different over, well, since March that we've had a lot more children in front of uh, the screen, uh, more than we'd like. We're not only focusing so much on the physical health of our students, but, but uh, more also focusing on the mental. Being able to learn all the different health and physical education uh, concepts that we're trying to teach them and, and you know one thing that uh, we all are focusing on is the mental health of everybody. It's, it's uh, a stressful time for, for, for everyone. Despite the current conditions, the Taunton High Wellness Department is dedicated to helping students through these trying times. I'm Allison Vicky with THS Tiger TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Allison. It's great to see how a department like Wellness is thinking outside of the box to make the most of the current educational environment that we are in. The days are moving quickly, as we are now almost halfway through February. Of course, February is a special month because it's Black History Month. THS recognizes Black History Month in a variety of ways, including guest speakers and special presentations. At THS, we have a wide variety of clubs, organizations, and activities available for all students to participate in. One of the more prestigious clubs is, of course, the National Honor Society. Liam O'Neill takes an inside look at what went into the making of this year's virtual induction ceremony. Thanks, Trevor. I'm standing right outside the Taunton High Auditorium where each year the National Honor Society induction ceremony takes place. Due to COVID-19, this event will be held completely virtual. This year's officers and advisors are still working hard for future inductees. Despite the issues with COVID-19, a new class of bright and talented students were still able to be inducted. So this year we're really excited to induct 84 new members to the National Honor Society. That's a little bit fewer than we normally induct, but we were really um, happy with the quality of the applicants this year despite all of the problems with COVID. The NHS officer team was still able to abide by the social distancing guidelines and still give back to their community. So our community service coordinator, Marissa Gay, has been fabulous at um, putting it on the classroom and there are multiple opportunities for students to do at home and then socially distanced in their own communities. And there's a whole website and a bunch of community service opportunities that the kids can still do. So students can meet with um, NHS tutors through Google Classroom and Google Meets and to get some tutoring on a weekly basis. That's one way our members do service. Being a part of NHS is truly an honor and can lead to so many new opportunities and friendships. You know, as, as corny as it may sound, it, it's the people, you know. Um, I have been fortunate enough to come to know a lot of the members of this class, and especially last year uh, when there was an opportunity to get, get together with so many of them and really have an opportunity to give back in a large way. I knew that that was an opportunity I, I needed to take advantage of. 
uh, and especially this year being an officer, it's been fantastic to be able to reach out to this group of people, over a hundred people in our grade alone, who have you know just been so willing to to give back uh, and to you know perform service in their community, uh, and it's been an absolutely fantastic experience uh, to be able to work with them. Given the circumstances of these challenging times, the show must go on as another NHS class is inducted. Congratulations to all the inductees. For Tiger TV, I'm Liam O'Neill. Back to you, Trevor. Thanks, Liam. As a member of the National Honor Society, it is so great to see so many new faces participating in this prestigious organization. Be sure to check out the live premiere of this year's NHS ceremony on Thursday, February 11th on our THS TV Studio YouTube channel. Many of our NHS seniors will be moving on to college this coming fall. In fact, five students have been accepted into Ivy League schools where they'll be continuing their education later this year. That's right, Trevor. Let's start with Aidan Scully, who will be attending Harvard University and majoring in Classics. He is the president of National Honor Society and the Latin Club, vice president of Drama Club, member of the Student Advisory Committee, and was a participant in the PBS High School Quiz Show last year. Michael Obiyama will attend Brown University, double majoring in political science and economics. Michael has been very involved here at THS, participating in DECA, Coaching for Change, Tenacity Challenge, Junior Achievement, National Honor Society, and Youth in Government. Olivia Dias will be majoring in Computer Sciences at MIT. Olivia is a member of the MIAA Student Advisory Committee, as well as a member of the THS Student Subcommittee. She is also the captain of the girls' cross-country team and has had a successful career in track and field. Ana Rodriguez will be attending Yale University and is planning to major in international affairs. Ana is a very active student at THS as she is the president of both the Key Club and the Mall UN Club. She is also a Project 351 Alumni Leadership Council member and a Key Club Lieutenant Governor. Olivia Weber will be attending Harvard University, majoring in neuroscience. Olivia is the captain of the cross-country team, a DECA officer. She has participated in junior achievement and she is the class of 2021 president. She is also the founder of Our Minds Matter and has graduated from a CNA program. Hey seniors, in need of some money for college? Don't miss out on this great opportunity to receive some additional funds. Scholarship applications are now available on Naviance including specific requirements and due dates for each scholarship. If you have any further questions, please email your guidance counselor. Also, seniors, it is time to buy your yearbook. Links to the Taunton High yearbook page on jostens.com can be found in your Taunton School's email. Purchase your yearbook now before it's too late. You do not want to miss out on this great opportunity. Email Ms. Peach with any question. We still have an action-packed second half of the show for you, including the rundown, some binge-worthy TV shows, and everyone's favorite segment, Tiger Talk. Stay tuned. Do you have a dog that's that excited to see your treats? Or do you have a dog that's that excited to hear the word treats? Um, I didn't think so. So you need Trader Joe's Beef Recipe Jerky Sticks. I mean, not only do they make your dog so happy to eat, but they can also help your dog learn tricks like paw, sit, or lay down. I mean, look at this happy girl looking for more treats everywhere. But wait, be careful. This dog will do anything to make sure they have those treats. They'll find it any place it can be or jump on the table like they're not supposed to just to get the treat. I know, right? So what are you doing still waiting? Don't you want a dog as happy as this one all the time? Then go to Trader Joe's now and get your beef jerky strips. Welcome back. We have so much more in store for you. The Rundown is back for another exciting episode. Today the guys take a deeper look into winter sports at THS and also recap the Super Bowl. Take it away, guys. Hello, and welcome back to The Rundown, where sports feels entertainment. I'm Tommy Ambrose, alongside Kyle Robinson and Elijah Marshall. We have a lot to discuss today. Winter sports finally kicked off their seasons with the start of hockey, boys basketball, and bo girls basketball. That's right, Tommy. 
Finally, we have winter sports. It was a late start for THS winter sports due to the COVID-19, but everyone is excited for the season has finally begun. Senior Sonia Fernandez is averaging a team high 11 points per game for the Tigers as they finish their first four games of the season. With more than half the season still to go, the team is looking to turn things around. Even though they did not get the start they wanted to, many players are still enjoying this opportunity. Um, so pretty much, I moved here last year, um, right before COVID happened. So I'm new to the basketball team, and pretty much they accepted me with open arms. They're, they're very um, welcoming. And so far, I mean, our first couple games, we did struggle a little bit. But as the season is progressing, we are working together better. And we're actually playing more like a team now, and I can feel like the chemistry building up. On the boys' side of things, they're off to a fantastic 5-0 and start with wins over King Philip, Franklin, and Milford. That's right, Tommy. We caught up with senior Tyler Stewart on their early success this season. They're going really well. You know, we're off to a hot start. Uh, you know, team chemistry is all there. You know, would have been great if we had a tournament. Would have gone really far. Uh, you know, we're just excited to be playing some games. The chemistry this team has is unreal, with scoring being distributed evenly throughout the team with Tyler Stewart, Trent Santos, and Josh Lopes all averaging double digit points. This team plays together very well after only losing two seniors the year before. They would be very experienced in the MIAA tournament this year, but sadly, due to COVID-19, the MIAA tournament will not be taking place. Yeah, it's unfortunate that they're not gonna get to play a tournament this year. Kyle and I got to commentate a game. They're very exciting to watch. Moving on to hockey though, uh, they're back on track with their season after a rough start with COVID complications. Great to see them back on the ice, getting some games in after the shortened season so far. The Tigers are averaging a solid two goals per game. We caught up with sophomore Connor McGrath, who still has very high expectations for the rest of the season and is happy to be out there playing. All right, so we're off to a slow start a little bit, but we're all bonding as teammates and coming together. We're all glad we're out here, and I can see this like turning around, and it's going to be a great year altogether. The Tigers look to finish out their season on a positive note. They are a very young team, and at any time they get on the ice will only benefit them moving forward. We all hope winter sports can finish off their shortened season safely and with a strong note. Changing gears, this past Sunday, uh, Super Bowl 55 was played where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 32 to nine, Tom Brady capturing his seventh Super Bowl. There's no question he's the GOAT, right guys? I find it hard to believe that some people really try to argue that Tom Brady is not the GOAT. Seven Super Bowls in the same, and to win in a fashion last Sunday was extremely impressive. I agree with Elijah. The Bucks came out on fire on both ends of the ball. Mahomes had no time on every play, scrambling out of the pocket. And uh, Brady's the GOAT, man. I got nothing else to say. It's great to see Tom Brady and Gronk winning a Super Bowl, even if it's not in New England. Personally, I was rooting for them. I think a lot of people were as well. For Kyle Robinson and Elijah Marshall, I'm Tommy Ambrose. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. This year's Super Bowl was quite an event. The game was great and the halftime show was okay, but I think my favorite were the commercials. Yeah, and I'm glad to see our winter sports getting off to a great start this year. February vacation is right around the corner. It will be a lot different this year as many of us will be spending more time at home. Wondering what to do? It's a great time to catch up on some TV. Izzy Kiker takes a look into some outstanding shows to watch right now. Thanks Trevor. This year has gone by very quickly and February break is a little over a week away. If you enjoy TV shows like me, here are three binge-worthy shows to watch over your February break. Coming in at number three, All American. All American is a sports drama that follows Spencer James, played by Daniel Ezra, as he transfers to Beverly Hills for a football opportunity. He moves in with his coach's family to hold on to his transfer spot and along the way, he faces challenges from his new school, friends, and family. In addition to Daniel Ezra, the show's star includes Samantha Logan as Olivia, Michael Evans Bailing as Jordan, and Tay Diggs as Billy Baker. Season 3 of All American is currently airing every Monday night on The CW, so make sure you catch up by watching seasons 1 and 2 on Netflix. And coming in at number 2 is... Criminal Minds. 
Criminal Minds just happens to be one of my favorite shows of all time. Currently airing on CBS, it's a crime drama that follows the behavioral analysis unit of the FBI. This unit travels the USA to apprehend active serial killers. Along the way, the team becomes a family. Its cast is full of stars, which include Matthew Gay Gobbler, Shemar Moore, Christian Vagsness, and Thomas Gibson. Criminal Minds has 13 of its 15 seasons currently available on Netflix. If you're a fan of murder mysteries, I highly recommend this show. And finally, coming in at number one is Cobra Kai. If you're into the Karate Kid franchise, you will totally enjoy this Netflix hit. Set 34 years after the hit 1984 movie, The Karate Kid, Cobra Kai follows Johnny Lawrence as he reopens his old dojo and starts teaching new students, with Ralph Macchio and William Zabrak repraising their old roles as Daniel Russo and Johnny. This cast blends old and new actors together seamlessly. With three seasons, Cobra Kai is a perfect show to binge watch with your parents who grew up watching The Karate Kid. If you're feeling nostalgic, iCarly's first two seasons are back on Netflix. So grab a couple snacks and enjoy binge watching these shows over your February break. I'm gonna get started right now. What are you guys' thoughts back in the studio? Thanks, Izzy. I'm excited to see that iCarly is back on Netflix. That used to be my favorite show. Criminal Minds is a personal favorite of mine. Up next, Sydney Edwards and Ella Dunderdale are back walking the halls of THS with another edition of Tiger Talk. Thanks, Evan. I'm Sydney. And I'm Ella. We hope you all had a great winter break, and welcome back to another segment of Tiger Talk. This week, we're putting Tiger community in the hot seat to ask them some challenging questions. Going out with the boys, go to vibes. Staying in. I say staying in with the pandemic, but I usually like to go out. I like staying in more. Oh, it's just me. Probably dogs. Cats. Dog. Um, oh gosh, I like both, but probably cats. Uh, kind of both, I guess. I don't know. That's a good question. Probably in person. Neither. I hate shopping. Online, because I know my size. TikTok, Snapchat. Uh, I use both pretty frequently, but it would probably have to be Snapchat. Um, movies, because they get to the point faster. <laughs> TV shows? TV shows, maybe. Not sure. Um, movies. Target. I work at Target, so I'll say Target. <laughs> Target, Walmart. Target. Definitely Target. Thanks for tuning in to this segment of Tiger Talk. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Ella and Sydney, and thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Tiger TV. Make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms to hear about upcoming events and shows. From all of us here at Tiger TV, we hope you have a safe, healthy, and relaxing February break. We'll see you next month.